There is, however, a balance, too few passes and the stress introduced in the part in each forming step is too high, which leads to distortions, too many passes and the tooling costs become too high, and the process is uncompetitive. A number of factors influence the number of steps required to successfully form a profile. This means, as was already mentioned, that the decision on the number of passes to use is not straightforward and is, more often than not, an educated guess. However, the relative effect of each characteristic of the process and form section can be established. The forming process design and role forming is achieved by drawing the finished profile and then unfolding it in a series of steps corresponding to the projected number of passes. The overlaid drawings of all the passes are called the flower diagram, this is an important tool for visualizing the whole process in one drawing. Developing a good bending strategy is very important in order to assure a good forming path of the material, minimize residual tensions in the part and allow access to the forming radii by the rolls. The first step is to choose a vertical guide plane. Usually, the points of the sheet located on this plane will either travel in a straight line or slightly upward, depending on the roll diameter selection. The selected vertical guide plane will influence the edge travel, and thus the edge stress, during the forming. The magnitude and location of each forming step angle are then selected so that the forming is constant and smooth. Several bends can be formed in the same step or one bend can be formed completely before the next. It is at this point that overbending is included in the forming in order to compensate for spring back, the angle being dependent on the material properties and the forming characteristics. Furthermore, the designer has to pay attention to the accessibility of the bend lines, sometimes it is better to form a shallower angle in one step in order to ensure better access to the bend radius in the next step. Roll forming is a specific process within the sheet metal forming industry. Characteristics of that method are high flexibility, low machine and tooling cost, and very good productivity. But like other sheet metal forming methods, roll forming today is still a kind of black art. It is very difficult to understand what happens to the material during the forming process. Difficulties such as faults appearing and problems in setting up new roll sets on the mill are not uncommon. In a trial and error approach, one has to produce a whole roll set and do the machine setup in order to find potential weaknesses in the roll forming process. Rollers are expensive. If the designer suggests too many forming steps, then the machine will be uncompetitive. On the other hand, less forming steps may result in costly rollers rework, additional or rollers replacement, high scrap, high assemble time, or having to discard the complete set of rollers. Lotus Company designs software and experienced designer to design and manufacture the roll forming machine. The machine quality is assured. A roll forming machine includes a plurality of forming members which are mounted at spaced points on an elongate, rigid spine. This permits conversion of the machine from one roll forming configuration to another by removing the spine and the roll forming members attached thereto and then installing a different spine forming member assembly in the roll forming machine. In one embodiment of the invention, the forming members comprise non-underscored driven material engaging rollers and the roll forming machine further includes a plurality of roll stands each comprising non-underscore forming driving rollers for moving material through the roll forming the machine. In another embodiment of the invention, the forming members comprise combination driving and forming rollers and couplers are provided for forming driving connections to the rollers. In 
a third embodiment, the rigid spine supports non-underscore driven forming rollers and idler rollers which cooperate with driving rollers to move material through the roll forming machine. Rolling is a metal forming process in which metal stock is passed through one or more pairs of rolls to reduce the thickness and to make the thickness uniform. The concept is similar to the rolling of dough. Rolling is classified according to the temperature of the metal rolled. If the temperature of the metal is above its recrystallization temperature, then the process is known as hot rolling. If the temperature of the metal is below its recrystallization temperature, the process is known as cold rolling. In terms of usage, hot rolling process is more tonnage than any other manufacturing process, and cold rolling process is the most tonnage out of all cold working processes. Roll stands to hold pairs of rolls are grouped together into rolling mills that can quickly process metal, typically steel, into products such as structural steel. An important point to consider when analyzing tool deflection is how the rolls are supported in the machine. Thus, knowing the different types of stands and how the rolls are mounted on them is crucial to determining the machine stiffness. The roll stands mentioned in this chapter are, the standard mill, with the shaft supported on both sides, the cantilevered mill, where the shaft is only supported on one side, the double high mill, with two levels of rolls, and the side-by-side -side mill, with two sets of rolls mounted on the same shaft. The standard roll forming stand has the shafts supported on both sides. On the drive side, the shaft is coupled to a motor which drives the rolls. On the operator side, the stand which supports the shafts is removable in order to enable tool changing. This is the most common type of stand to roll for metals, and as such, it was chosen as the stand to be used in the experimental analysis of the present work. In order to form the sheet metal into the desired profile, attention must be paid to the components surrounding the rolls, and to the rolls themselves. Correct manufacturing, setup and inline adjustment of the machine is key to obtaining final products within the desired tolerances. Rolls In practical terms, Roll manufacturing must be extremely precise. As will be established further on, deviations of roundness or eccentricities of very low order, 0.1 mm, can have great implications in part quality. Indeed, one of the problems encountered in the simulation of roll forming processes is the influence of these imperfections, which is not easily implemented in the numerical models. The surface quality must be extremely high due to contact and lubrication issues. Often, rolls are split into several sections for ease of manufacturing, in fact, there are instances where this is the only possibility. This also allows for easier installation. Indeed, one of the problems encountered in the simulation of roll forming processes is the influence of these imperfections, which is not easily implemented in the numerical models. The surface quality must be extremely high due to contact and lubrication issues. Often, rolls are split into several sections for ease of manufacturing, in fact, there are instances where this is the only possibility. This also allows for easier installation. Shafts. The shafts on a roll forming line, which support the rolls and connect them to the side stands, must be very stiff in order to ensure good dimensional stability of the roll gap. Usually, the thickness for these parts is around 50 mm, 
the shaft will have a keyway through its whole length which will fit with the rolls. The shaft rests on bearings on both stands. On the drive side, it will have a section with the larger diameter which rests on the bearing. On the operator side, it is threaded and has a spacer which fits into the bearing and allows the operator to tighten the whole assembly, rolls and spacers, with the nut, independently of the stand and bearings. The threads are usually opposite, the top one is right thread and the bottom one is left thread, in order to avoid the unintentional untightening of the nuts during operation. On the drive side, the shaft has a standard shaft pen for fitting a flange, cog wheel or chain drive. Stance Each side stand consists of two bearing housings, which are supported by connecting rods, in turn, attached to crossbars. The stand used in the present work. Each bearing housing usually has two conical bearings which support the shaft. The height of each shaft is adjusted by screws on the top and bottom crossbars. Aside from the adjustment screws, the housings slide freely on the connecting rods. In order to change the roll set on a roll forming line, the operator side stand must be removed. This means that positioning on the machine table must be precise and repeatable. If the stands are not correctly mounted, there is the possibility that the shafts are not perpendicular to the direction of travel, which can lead to substantial problems during operation. Drive Shaft Several driving methods can be used for connecting the electric motor to the shafts. Chain drives are usual. Nevertheless, the present study focuses on the universal joint drive shaft, as it was the chosen method for connecting the two parts. A telescopic universal joint drive shaft was chosen in order to have some flexibility for the positioning of the flanges on the gearbox and on the roll forming stand. This setup allows for the independent driving of each roll, which can be useful due to the varying sheet speed through the roll forming line. Roll Load Forming forces occur on the roll forming stand due to the bending of the sheet metal when it passes through the rolls. Knowing the value of this force is crucial to correctly design the stands, shafts and driving system, and to choose the correct motor and gearbox combination. Lotus Forming is located in Wuxi, China, specialized in producing roll forming machine, hoof foam door shutter machine, garage door production line, decorative panel production line, CZ Perlin roll forming machine, strut channel roll forming machine, guardrail machine, roof tile roll forming machine, deck floor roll forming machine and so on. Meanwhile, to adapt ourselves to different customers, we produce coil-to-coil -coil slitting line and coil-to-sheet cut-to-length line. And mostly, we can design a machine according to customers' requests and samples. Lotus Forming was established in 2013, the chief engineer has to work in roll forming machine area for more than 20 years, and we have 50 workers in the workshop and 8 after sale service engineers for domestic and overseas customers. Contact US if you want to buy the best roll forming machine. You can contact US with WhatsApp, Telegram, WeChat, Email and ECT. For watch more video you can follow our YouTube channel.